we had a family winery and um, it was right behind the house. In those days I think we started off banging the corks into the bottles with a rubber hammer. So yeah, the wine industry's come a long way. Villa Maria is an interesting business, it's still a family owned company. It's a reasonably sizable family owned company but it's still very much family orientated and we bottle all our own wine at the Villa Maria estate in Auckland so you know we, we like to take care of our wine right from the, from the nursery through to the vineyard, through to the winery and then through to the bottling halls but we can care for the wine all the way through and then even in the warehouse and distribution we handle the wine right to the point that the customer takes ownership of that wine and that's very much um, part of the culture at Villa Maria. To have a quality bottling operation is pretty important to the whole process of making sure that your wine is always at the best it can possibly be. But if you have a bottling operation that's not working effectively, all that hard work that's gone before, you can just take the edge off that quality. Being a family company, we don't have access to huge amounts of funds, and so often innovation is driven from a need to achieve a goal or a need to get the best quality out of our vineyards or out of our wines. You know, we were uh, one of the leaders in screw caps. In fact, uh, we were the first major wine company in the world to go 100% screw cap, and that was all about quality. We had an issue with the corks that were being imported into New Zealand. They were effectively damaging the wine in the bottle and uh, that means that we were delivering something to the consumer that we weren't happy about. The aim was to give a quality product to the consumer and that's why we went to screw caps. One of the most fantastic things for me personally is where we've gone internationally. Growing up on a vineyard in West Auckland, which we were very much a domestic one in three, you know, I never would have imagined in my wildest dreams that I could be at an event in New York talking about Villa Maria wine. And I think that every single bottle that's on a table, whether it be in Moscow or whether it be in London or whether it be in New York or Los Angeles, is, is in itself an advertisement for New Zealand. It's great working with those wines.